So I wanted to go over a quick video on how to place houses in the housing zones. So for this I've actually uh, received my 16 by 16 farm and my 8 by 8 and I've upgraded them to a 16 by 16 and a 24 by 24 gazebo. And I wanted to show the placement of these. So when you click on these uh, in your backpack, uh, to place them it's a left click and when you left click it'll highlight the housing zone area you'll see this fence line all around the housing zone area so you can see the fence all the way around and as you're placing your gazebo it'll either be normal you know grade color uh, it looks like a like a built gazebo or it'll be red meaning that you can't place it so when it looks like a normal gazebo you can place it when it looks red, it means you can't place it. You either have a conflict, like you're bumping up against somebody or you're you're placing it outside of the zone. Uh, so where are these housing zones actually located at? So they're, they're in every zone, or just about every single zone has a house mint placing area. And some of those zones are open for any type of item. So an eight by eight all the way up to the biggest item. And if you open up your map, you can actually see where they're at. Generally, you look for these little crafting areas. Those are housing crafting zones uh, all throughout the map. And then right next to those, you'll see small little icons that look like little houses. And those are the actual house plot zones. You can see I have a couple highlighted here. So anyways, you're going to click on your house, your gazebo, your farm, and you're going to left click, which will lock it in place. And when you lock it in place, uh, you can then uh, change the orientation of it by hit, hitting your scroll bar on your mouse. And when you change the orientation, you can go slow by holding down alt and scroll, or you can go fast by holding down shift and scroll. And when you want to change your camera view while you're in this lock state, you just hold down control and scroll. All right. So once you have that placed, uh, you can actually place chests on the gazebo portion, and then you can place uh, plants and trees and stuff on the placeable spots. For your 16 by 16, it's basically the same thing. Uh, you can change the orientation once you have it locked in. You can see this spinning around a little bit here. You can change your camera view. Uh, uh, whatever okay so once you're ready to lock it in on land rush day you know everything is going to be pink at first and it's locked out you can't place and then there's going to be a banner that says oh you can place your house so what you want to do is you want to have your uh, house already clicked out already ready for you to click through the the, the two menus so you're going to hit your right click or your, sorry you're going to hit your left click to put in the one button and you're going to hit a left click again to pull up your tax menu and then you're going to hit the build button as quickly as possible and you know some people might even like mark that spot on their on their screen if they know what it looks like uh, uh, basically it's it's who clicks first right who's going to be clicking the fastest so once you get your your gazebo placed and you want to place your second property you might want to try to take up as much land as possible without uh, allowing anybody to place in between you so you can you can plant it real close or you can move it just a little bit apart and then place it so then once you have two things down and let's say you have a, a cottage and you want to place that or a thatch and it's going to look like you can actually place it but when you hit the build button you're going to get this little menu that says you can't place it because you have two unbuilts so you're going to have to at least build one of your farms before you can actually place something last so i actually placed a, a thatched here in this scenario and you can see there's a bunch of different buttons here. Uh, one of those buttons is to uh, decorate the house. There's a button there to, to pay taxes. Uh, and there's also a button to remodel the house. And so uh, if you pop up in the remodel, it basically you can see you have three choices, a rancher, your, your, your seed one, and then your miner. I really like the minor ones, and I actually have a pre-built minor one that I'm going to place right here uh, to show you what that looks like. And so uh, why do you want to improve your thatch to one of these? Uh, the main reason is it's going to give you more resources, and it's going to give you daily quests that you can do on your house that will give you guild and vocation, which is going to become a huge source of vocation and guild for you as you're moving forward, because you can do it every single day. So you see here's the miner, they got this little mining thing that I can loot every single day. It's got like three stages that I can go through to get it. Um, 
there's things that that uh, grow on the outside that only grow in the wild normally will actually grow in this house so that's good you can see you have a couple seed beds where you can plant more seeds uh, and then you have this quest jar that's hanging on the outside post uh, of the house um, Oh, and there's two spots up here that also have stuff. So when you go to the quest jar, there's two quests that you can get. The first one is either going to be earth mana, bait worms, or fertilizer. And the second one's going to be some type of resource. For the miner's house, it's actually stone, which you're going to get off of this thing anyways. So you do those quests every single day. You get vocation and you get Gilda. So the next thing you want to do is place uh, a crafter house, right? So you're going to buy a 24 or 20, 28 house. You're going to place it down you're gonna to go to the remodel button and on here you can see you can actually change the house type or you can actually upgrade it into a specific uh, uh, you know crafter type house and there's three crafter house there's tradesmen there's apothecary and there's an armorer so I'm gonna do the apothecary here and I'm gonna go ahead and, and grow that I already have the mats to actually do an apothecary uh, so it lets you reposition if you want to reposition it and then you actually grow it and then it looks like it needs to be built. You throw a blue salt hammer on it, and boom, you're completely set up. And you see you have the quest jars, just like you do for the improved thatch, where you can do those two different combination of things uh, and get your guild invocation. You get a fireplace in here that you can actually bind to, uh, or sorry, where you can get the teleport to, and anybody in your guild can get it. And then there's also a memory stone that you can get that gives you like a quick recall to your house, which comes in really handy, and it's on like a 24-hour timer. Uh, and then you can prepay your taxes and all that other good stuff. And so if you go and take, uh, if you, you can just see the upstairs and outside, wherever. This this house also has an elevator. So if you hit the elevator, you come up to the top. You got a resources thing on the side, and then you have your main crafting bench. So the resources is for like wood, fabric, that cut type of stuff, and the main crafter bench is for apothecary things. And this is what a crafter's house looks like.